Okay, we're going to start on page 19 because 18 is where our song is. Today we're going to be practicing multiplication using the area model. Yesterday or a couple days ago we worked on using base 10 blocks. So now we're going to move on to multiplying using the area model. Just to, just to see that there's different ways to attack a multiplication problem. So let's write our objective. Today I will multiply using the area model. Okay, let's look at some steps. When you're tackling a problem using the area model, there are a few steps that we need to follow. Step one, we first circle the greater factor. Step two, we write the greater factor in expanded form. Now let's look and review for a second. Expanded form is a way that you can write a number. Let's say that we're writing 724. To expand it, you look at each place value and you see how much is that place value actually worth. So here we have, let's start with the greatest place value is 7. 7 is in the hundreds place, so we would write 700. Plus, move over to the right, we have 2 in the tens place, so that would be 20 plus 4. That is writing a number in expanded form, and that's what you're going to do for step two. Okay, step three. Write the lesser factor on the outer left side. of the box. So when you make an area model, it's a box. So that's what I mean by box. Step four. Write each equation in the corresponding place value section and find the product. Now step four might sound a little wordy and I get it. It totally does sound kind of weird. We'll look at step four and we'll see how this sentence turns into actual math. So don't fret on number step four, okay? And then step five, finally, is add the products to solve. Okay, let's take a look at one. Let's look at some examples. Number one, 3,675 multiplied by three. Okay, let's first draw our box. Sometimes you might have the box. Sometimes you have to draw it yourself. So let's draw it ourselves before we start. Step one, circle the greater factor. Which number is greater? Well, we can see that this has way more place values, so it's going to be 3,675 is greater than 3. Now, step 2 is write their greater factor in expanded form. So we do that right here on top. So we take this number and we expand it, we, we stretch it. Okay, so we have our first place value is in the thousands place. That's 3,000. So we're going to write 3,000 
plus our next place value is in the hundreds. 600 plus 7 in the tens place, we have 70 plus 5. Okay, step 3. Write the lesser factor on the outer left side of the box. So all we have left is 3. So we're just going to write 3 nice and big on the left side. Now, we need to draw lines to make sections. For step 4 where it says write each equation in the corresponding place value section. Okay. This is our section. We just made the place value section. So that's what it means by a place value section. It just means drawing that line and creating a section for yourself visually so that you can multiply each value separately. So we're going to make our sections for step four. Then we're going to do an equation. When we do an equation, we Okay, so when it says equation, we know it's going to be a multiplication equation because we're multiplying. That's the only kind of math you're going to be doing. So you're going to be multiplying each section, and you're going to find the product. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So we're going to write 3,000 times 3. So we know that anytime we have zeros, we're just going to add those to the end. So 3 times 3 is 9,000. Now we've got to do 3 times 600. 3 times 0, 0, 18, 1,800. 70 times 3, 0, 21, 210. 5 times 3 is 15. Okay, now we need to add the products to solve. So off to the side or underneath, wherever you want to do it, we're going to add them up to find our answer. So we're going to do 9,000 plus 1,800 plus 210 plus 15. Bring the zeros down. We have 5, 2, 10, 9, 10, 11. 11,025 is our final answer. Okay, using the area model, we can multiply that way. Okay, let's do another example together. 5,273 times 4. First, let's draw our box. Step 1, circle the greater factor. My greater factor is 5,273. Step two, write the greater factor in expanded form. So five is in the thousands place, so it's gonna be 5,000 plus the hundreds place, we got 200 plus 70 plus three. Step three, write the lesser value on the outer side of the box. So big four. Now we're going to section out our place value sections. So we have our thousands place, hundreds, tens, and ones. Now we're going to do our equation and find our products. So 5,000 times 4. 0, 0, 0, 20, so we have 20,000. 200 times 4. 0, 0, 800. 70 times 4. 70 times 4. We got 0. 7 times 4 is 28, so 280. 4 times 3 is 12. Step 5 is to add the products up and solve. So to my right, I'm going to add them up. We got 20,000 plus. 800, you gotta make sure you line up your place values correctly. I almost wrote it in the wrong place value. 280, 12. So we got 2, 8, 9, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I think it cut off a little bit, but all I did was finish up adding, and I got my final 
um, sum of 21,092 for my product of 5,273 by 4. Okay? Now these are the two problems that I want you to work on tonight for homework using the area model. Okay? See you tomorrow.